So I've been looking at a lot of videos to make jelly plates and I decided to make one too for my granddaughter Emily. So this is what we're going to do to start. We have a mixing bowl, a glass one, because all the products we're using are food products so I don't feel that we're going to harm ourselves from washing these and reusing them. Um, we need some glycerin or vegetable glycerin, however it's worded. Need a box of Knox gelatin. It's just unflavored gelatin. You can get this almost everywhere. Your grocery store should have it. And some rubbing alcohol. I prefer the 91% because it's going to be clear. I made some with a 70% and it was a little yellow. So we're going to try the 91 to see if it's better today. And we're going to start this out um, from what I have read. You want uh, two tablespoons of Knox gelatin per one cup of fluid. So we are going to put in, um, oh, let's see, or six of them. There's going to be about three cups of fluid in here. Each of these, um, my camera turned off, so we're trying this again. Each box contains two packets, and they are about a tablespoon each. So you want two tablespoons per one cup of liquid. Now, usually you measure um, how big your liquid. Stop. Try this one more time. I am using this package from Chocolates, and all I did was fill it up to the point where I wanted water, which was about halfway, and then dump that water in a measuring cup, and that's how much I'm going to need. I've got a top and a bottom. I'm going to use both. So I have actually put everything in a bowl, and we're going to put this in the microwave and heat it up for 45 seconds, and take it out and stir it. And then we're going to heat it up again for another 45 seconds and take it out and stir it. And then we are going to put it in again for one minute and take it out and stir it and um, pour it in our molds. So I'm going to put this in my microwave right now and I'm going to come back after I get ready to pour. And I've taken it out of the microwave. I put it in twice for 45 seconds and the last time for one minute. Now we're going to stir it up a little bit here. Just one more time. Now we're going to pour it into these. Now, I don't have any bubbles in mine, but if I did, I have a mini mister that you just spray alcohol on them and it takes the bubbles right away. Now, we're going to let this set for 24 hours. This is as level as my counters can be is in this corner. So, I am going to let these set until tomorrow. Now, I made little ones like this already. And when you go to check these out, you're going to pull from the corner and get a rolling. And it should just peel right on out for you. Now they're going to be tacky on the bottom. Still damp. So you're going to want to let those set for a couple hours. Just let those set and they'll dry out for you too. And that 
is all it takes to make a jelly plate. Enjoy!